So we're in the Lowman Hills above a reservoir complex the Scotch Water has that serves much of Fife. 25 hectares of land that was being grazed, but when we look at it, it's actually a part of the land which is much better suited for trees. So the woodland that we're creating here is a natural biodiverse woodland that we'd found in Scotland after the last ice age. And we're now going to turn this into a native woodland that will help us with our biodiversity and carbon capture goals. So as we plant trees, as they grow, they will take carbon out of the atmosphere. And we're looking for this site to store thousands of tonnes of carbon over the next 60 to 80 years. We're putting in oak, alder, hawthorn, rowan and birch, and they're being planted in a very irregular pattern. Unlike more commercial types of forestry in straight rows, we want this to look and feel like a native, natural woodland of Scotland. This is part of the Scottish Waters uh, assets in the Lomond Hills in Fife. Um, woodland creation scheme for native broadleaves. We've had to do substantial works to create a deer fence to protect the, the young trees. Also we've got rabbit netting to prevent any hares and rabbits getting it, devastating the young trees. So putting in diagonal, yeah. get a nice sort of cavity, put the tree in the gap where you yeah. can and just stamp it down. Okay, so they're nice plugs. Yeah. The guard just, over the just over the top of that. Is it okay to put them next to each other or do you want to mix the species? Your, your wood mark. <laughs> you want to put it. So what we have here, this little green cylinder is a, a vole guard and this protects the, the young trees from browsing from voles which like to live in this kind of grassy habitat. And uh, these ones we're using today are actually biodegradable. And so the benefit of that is that they last just long enough to establish the tree and then they'll degrade into the environment and leave no microplastics. The other benefits from this are to support biodiversity. We've got an objective and a duty to support Scotland's biodiversity and that really is looking for Scotland to start to recreate the types of habitats that it used to have before much of the land changed in recent centuries. So as I say this will deliver a lot of biodiversity gain for the site. It'll also help to shore up and make the land more resilient to climate change. The native woodland as it goes and develops the tree canopies through the summer, as they fall and they develop more soil organic matter through the, the winter, they create that stronger, more organic, rich layers that help hold more water in the soil. So through the summer, that can lead to less loss of water from the environment. So they're not quite as thirsty as the, the coniferous trees. And one of the key benefits of, uh, of this type of woodland, particularly in associated water courses, um, is that they can create greater shade and help to keep and lock in moisture in the soils. So the overall impacts on any water resources are very low, and it's not felt that this will have any impact on water resources in this area. Open ground is still very important for wading birds, for overwintering birds uh, to have access to habitat. And we are leaving some large patches of open ground that will support this. But really it's about creating the native Scottish ancient type of woodland that would have been here before that uh, we don't really have enough of across Scotland.